Welcome, folks, to Owlboy, a Metroidvania with a very unique art style. I've not completed this game completely, so it's going to be semi-blind. I have played this first portion, though. Revered. Exalted. Wise. This is what we owls aspire to be. Over the centuries, we have worked hard to build up the respect that people have for us. Thank you for the sub there, Greedus. And as times get harder, you too, as my student, shall carry the weight of owlhood upon your shoulders. I can see that you're already a fine young owl, Otis. In time, I will mold you into a spitting image of myself. No need to look so nervous, lad. This is a great moment for you. Despite being born as a mute, under my tutelage, you will become one of the pillars of our community. Well, I see there's plenty we have to work on. Do not worry. I will straighten you out. I'll be honest with you, Otis. I haven't... You haven't been doing too well in your studies at all. So I've been thinking that perhaps your talents simply lie elsewhere. So today we'll try some... We'll be doing some flying. I bet you've been looking forward to this for a while, haven't you? Good. Then listen closely. All you need to do is jump off the ground. And then not hit the ground. Then while you're in midair, spread your wings and flap them. The owl cloak that I have gave you should take care of the rest. Go, Otis. Show me what you can do. All right, you're flying. Now, try to move around a bit. You see that platform up there? Fly up there and land on that island. Then I shall teach you the real tricks. <sighs> Disappointed dots. Hmm, well, Otis, that was some terrible flying. I have to say I'm really, really disappointed. Most of my students pick this up instantly. Tomorrow we'll be back to normal studies. It pains me to see such inept flying. Good day, sir. Quickly, Otis. People need our help. The drought isn't as patient as your sluggishness, with your sluggishness as I am. Why have you left the water jug on the ground? Pick it up immediately. Hurry! It just appears into, you know, existence. All right. We have gotten it. Hang on. We've been sloshing the jug around. Let me check if there's any water left. Put the jug down here. Well, I have to throw it there, huh? I can't just set it down. No! I told you to push it, put it down, not smash it. It hit with such force that it actually broke that stone platform. How are we supposed to bring water to the villagers now? I will not forget this. And I will make sure that others are aware of your in what in your incompetence has cost us. Do you understand? I cannot describe how disappointed I am in you, Otis. Leave me. I will bring the water to Vili myself. Otis, you have failed me again and again and again. Today, there are no lessons. 
All you need to do today is to talk to the other villagers. Simple enough, right? Even for you. Have them tell you what they think of you and your ineptitude. Do not come back until you know what you need to know. Well, also Cloak, <laughs> hi to you before you go to work. Hopefully you have a better experience than Otis here. There's apparently someone in front of me. The truth about you. <laughs> Are you sure you want to hear it? Maybe I should. Are you sure you want to hear it? You want to know the truth? You mute. You wouldn't be able to tell anyone anyway. All of a sudden we have a life bar, it looks like. Why so nervous, Otis? Of course, you have every reason to be. That's right, Grimoth. Surprise health bar of infinite mystery. What could it mean? Well, that was fucking creepy. I don't remember that part. Otis! Otis! Finally awake, are you? Ah. <sighs> We're going to be late. Good thing I came here to wake you or you will have slept another hour. Get out of bed immediately and meet me outside. He ducks through the little door there. Well, hey, I didn't get hurt from that somehow. I can grab the kettle, huh? And I'll just go ahead and put that in my kettle pocket, I suppose. Sure. Veli. The land of mysteriously floating islands. And Thord rings. Otis! Don't zone out, get up here! About time, Otis. We will be keeping watch over Veli today. There have been pirates around lately, or about lately. You know the drill, report to me or the guards if you see anything suspicious. Any questions? No? Well then, get to it. I was expecting him to just, like, vault into the atmosphere. Apparently we've learned how to fly properly. Although that, you know, beginning sequence was clearly a dream. I'm not sure why these thorn rings exist, but here they are. Can I read? I can. Higher, Veli Plaza, Lower Otis Redis <laughs> Residence. Let's see, they have one-time-use kettles in this world. I know, right? Instead of keys. Oh, we survived without knowing on the fly. Well, that was just a dream. Everything's fine. Some mysterious blocks of mystery over here. Coinage. I love coinage. All right, let's see if we can't find any doings of transpiring in this town. <laughs> Throw or consume? I shall consume. Looks like we have temporary health. It's been a while since I played this game initially. Might as well consume more. Up. Oh. That was suspicious. What was all that? Someone springing into the atmosphere. Well, they went up. Alright. Same kind of sign we saw earlier. Glad we saw this one, too. Well, might as well pick up some more pots and blocks there in the ground. There could be pirates under them. You can't tell me there wouldn't. Well, 
Because clearly I need to save up for something. Why would there be money all around? Question marks. Hmm. Hey, there's a gentleman. <laughs> Let's see, what voice was I going to give you? Oh yeah, I was going to say, hey buddy. Hey man, keeping watch today? Maybe you want to do something later? Otis and Getty, or Otis and Getty, the unstoppable team. The way it was in a different text color confused me. <laughs> Fox pirates are dangerous, you know. Oh, I know. Maybe we should take uh, that trip to Advent today. Let me know when you're done. I'll be here fixing this here cannon. Uh, gotta be prepared for anything, right? Yes. Alright, so that's Getty. Or Compadre. There's a rock of infinite mystery there. I wonder what it could be. That guy's playing the drums. Hi, little Otis. Looking for pirates? I think I've seen some. Saw them west at Lookout Point. Maybe check it out. Okay. Also, there's a troublemaker around the village. It's not you, is it? Somebody is stealing my bongos. Don't be slacking off now. Okay. Music has more instruments now. Not enough bongos. Hello, sir. Enjoying the water? You hours sure are hard working. Tracks of students are screwing about, keeping watch all the way from Advent. And here you are, too. I prefer to relax in my hot spring. <laughs> you seem to be struggling with my heat, my boy. Let me teach you a little trick to deal with it. Ah, you feel that? You feel that right there? It's all about accepting the scalding water. Relaxing it. Soaking it. Give it a try. My god, it works. There you go, lad. Never forget to take your time to relax. Take it from old Toby. He's a relaxer. My goodness. My help bar has orange things and he's giggling again. Cackling, perhaps. Is that a lass? Oh, I accidentally went into your house. <laughs> I meant to speak to you, but I went into your house because it's the same button. Hello. Oh, hi, Otis. Keeping watch today? I hear there's a troublemaker lurking about. I really hope it's not a pirate. I've heard so many horror stories about pirates. There's even rumors of a humongous one. How can their ships stay afloat if there are pirates like that? Haha, <laughs> well, we're safe here in the in Valley. Just try not to play around too much, right, Otis? We'll be fine as long as we stay focused. Okay. I will take this and I shall consume it. Whatever it might be. A barrier of infinite mystery. <laughs> Although it was rather large. Oh, we have a sign here. Where's this go? Valley Outpost. Well, let's take a look at the outpost. Hmm. I can't pick up these? Okay, whatever. I got a lot of signs in this town. It's a nice little structure here. Although I wish the, the boards on the stone kind of stuck out more. They're exactly the same color. Oh my word. Boo! <laughs> <laughs> you got him, Fib. Yeah, Benazi. <laughs> Maybe it's Italian. Benazi? We're going to call him Benazi. Although, no, that has connotations. Uh, we'll call him Benazi, then. 
Guess he can fly after all. Man, you're such a skinny kid, Otis. That one should be tough and fearless. Are you sure you <laughs> are you sure you should be allowed to keep watch? Doesn't everyone think you're an idiot? I mean, are you even a real owl? I mean, he could be a person in an owl cloak. I think that's been uh, discussed. I actually look a bit like a real owl. That's again, question is pointless, Finn. I mean, he can't reply anyway. Oh yeah, he's a mute. Huh, mute. Silly Otis. <laughs> Someone says, hey! Lay off of Otis! And get back to patrolling, or I'll tell Strikes! Strikes? Strix? Oh, maybe it's Strix. That would make sense. Fubonacci. There you go. Ah, you got it, Jamoni. Very good. Don't mind them, Otis. They are just being childish. Well, why don't I join you? I can help you keep watch. Oh, that will we'll show them. Just pick me up and let's go. Okay. What? Oh my goodness. <laughs> You've been equipped onto my life bar. What does it mean? That's a hell of an intro you just got onto my menu screen, sir. Not everyone gets a spinning tablet. Otis's best friend and Belly's defense mechanic. Getty carries a blaster effect up against mo in most combat situations, but not against solid rock or steel. Okay, we'll keep that in mind. <laughs> nice. Alright, so is there anything else over here? Whoosh. Fuck that bitch. I'll teach those boxes. Could have been pirates in them. Can we speak to you? Rep. <laughs> I think he's fine. <laughs> well, he's gone forever. <laughs> How do I get him back? Okay, there you are. Come here, you. Do you have anything else? Otis looks sad. Do something wrong again. Yes. I trusted people. Hello. Do you have anything else to say to us? Hi, Getty. And Otis. Hey, Madeline. See any troublemakers around? No, but I'm glad that you're watching out for them. With strict students here, there are so many owls around. Yup, of me and Otis here are gonna take care of any trouble, not those slackers. We're a dream team! And <laughs> look at that smile. Otis is so happy. Gl glad you're having fun. Just watch out for ginormous pirates, you hear? Ginormous. You hear? Now let's go see what Toby's doing. Chris Bloosh. What's wrong, Otis? Did strict students do something? I don't mind them, Otis. They're just trying to get you down. Here, just soak them in the hospital. It'll make you feel better. Okay. Wait, is there something over here? Oh, I can't read the sign because you're in front of it. Get out of here. Professor's lab? Uh. This looks like something. You sit there. Let's see, I can't look at the mailbox. Let's go inside. As you can see, Azio, this screen is at the heart of the machine. It will show you a map of the area generated in real time. It is my greatest accomplishment. 
I don't understand. We have maps. The owls keep maps up to date. Don't be daft, Basil. The islands are floating around and there's so few hours left. This is the future. Ugh. Behold, groundbreaking technology at work. Well, I'm beholding dots. I'm not impressed. Blast. I worked, it worked perfectly fine before you showed up. You must have pooped on it. Something must have... Ah. Your student is in my lab, Asio. Otis, what are you doing in here? Give the boy some space, Asio. It's fine as long as he doesn't break anything. Again. Don't idle here for too long. Go out there and look. keep a lookout for pirates. Okay. Get anything else in here? Can I go down the stairs? No, I'm incapable, huh? How y'all doing? Anyway, my mapping machine is incredible. Even you have to admit that, Azio. Nonsense. I have to admit nothing. The owls have done this for centuries. Your attempt to undermine my influence in the village is pathetic. You stubborn old! You think that I'm playing petty politics? You're far too proud, Azio. So you say after you try and spit on my heritage? I pity you for having this fool as a mentor, Otis. Azio? I don't know how you ended up here. You should know, I should know better than to listen to the professor's rants. The old coot drives me insane. Insane dots. You shouldn't be here either. Go back to patrol duty. Okay. Bye. Sorry to leave you out here, my friend. Let's see anything else in this area. I'm not exactly sure how we're holding up Getty here. Almost looks like we're holding his hat. Hey there, Death. Well, I'll be damned. You're here. Someone else made that pun earlier. Who was it? Oh, there's doings transpiring. That's a weird-looking person there. The other ones definitely look bird-like. This one almost looks like a cat or a weasel. Um, uh... What's up, Solis? Going to patrol for pirates today? Oh, are you gonna run away if you see anything? <laughs> Look at this guy, can't even stay on his feet. You brats again? Hey, are you okay, man? Oh, uh, yes. Thank you. You're one of strict students. Haven't met you before. Uh, yes. Uh, Bonacci and Fibo are my classmates. We're, uh, g g g g g great pals. Your name's Solus. Listen, they were having a go at Otis here earlier, too. If they give you any trouble, just yell for us. Uh, thanks, you guys. They're right, though. I'm, I'm a coward. Oh, don't say stuff like that about yourself, ma'am. Listen, oh my goodness! Egg! Someone help! Mandolin! Oh my goodness. A shadowy figure has just bounced through the area. Oh no, it's the Troublemaker! He doesn't look like he's that upset. He's all like, yeah, Troublemakers! Quick, Solus, call for help! Me and Otis will chase him down! Oh, okay. Otis, pick me up and let's go! Actually, can I talk to you? I... Er, I'll, uh, I'll... Uh, good luck! Hey! 
back here when I'm flapping at you. You bounce away with no animation? The very idea. I'll shoot, damn it! I'm already shooting. Wait, there's some rings. Good job, Otis. I almost missed them. Wait, how do you get through these boxes without shooting them? Nothing. Although I did see something up there. Go back. Hot pursuit? Yeah, warm pursuit. More tree stuffs. Anybody up here? There's another ring. Is there a booming in your ears, too? It sounds like a truck going by. As I get closer to this cave, that foreboding, like, drumming is just in my ears. What could it be? Look, Otis! It's the Troublemaker! T. Is that supposed to twinkle like that? Oh my word. It's a critter. Whoosh. Oh yeah, I forgot. I can independently aim with the right stick as well as he also just aims uh, where he's going if you don't have your thumb on it. They don't teach you that in owl school. Well. Thing. Hmm. Looks like there's stuff behind here. There is. Thankfully, that was not timed. We can take all the time we want. Oh my goodness. Laying waste to everything that, you know, assaults us. We can also get more food if we want. Don't share anything. Why does everything have to die like some kind of Power Ranger villain just exploding? Okay. Teehee. Teehee. Ah, yes. Kaboost. Oh my word. Riches! Alright. You stay down there. I'll be with you in a moment. I'm not sure why that orifice, you know, exudes rocks, but it does. Or extrudes rocks, maybe? Probably best not to ask. Actually, I think we need to use him. Or I guess we could... We probably could have had him throw a rock at it, but I can still throw a rock at it, too. Some kind of rock birthing place. What could it mean? Lois is in great shape. Huh? Ah! Watch out! Well, rip. Otis! Otis, wake up! Please tell me you're okay, Otis. I can't. It's my character, you know, trait. Oh man, I didn't know the cave was this dangerous. Hang in there, buddy. I'm coming for you. All right, we're on our lonesome. I have nothing to aim, but if I did, spin, huh? Ah, it depends on which side I'm actually on. 
Okay, so maybe I need to screw it all the way in, not screw it out. There we go. Hmm. What could it mean? Something that looks like us shooting, I don't know, a spread shot or a Kamehameha. Good work, JKS. I'll just leave you guys to your business. Fired me, excuse me. What's this? Fired me. I think this game has a pretty good artist tag. I don't know what you guys feel about it. Get out of here. Controls are pretty great, too. I just impaled that thing on the spikes. How did it flap away? And also, how did the room know they had flapped away? Hmm. Lethal's done a puzzle or two. He knows how this works. Oh my goodness! What could it be? Phew! Yay! Hurrah! Whoopee! I found you! And I'm alive! And so are you! We're amazing! But calm down, Otis. There's no time to celebrate. We should probably get out of here before there's another collapse, huh? <laughs> Otis seems pretty happy with the whole thing. He just got his best friend back. Why wouldn't he be happy? There's really nothing to gain from killing these things. They don't drop coinage or anything like that. Also, you may notice that we can shoot the, uh, shoot the plants. Oh, that actually uproots them, too. <laughs> Anything cool over here? Secrets? No. Reminds you of Monster Boy? Hmm. What could it mean? Oh, there it goes. More of these little dwarfers. Oh. I want to see what's in the box. Such riches. I'm not sure why they appeared there, but it certainly did. Why is it making that sound? I see. We're gonna have to leave your butt behind, or perhaps I can find something else to leave on that. You stay here for a moment. Maybe, just maybe. You can use this little bastard to hold it down. <laughs> Lethal is disappointed. <laughs> Maybe with two of them, it'll hold it down. Maybe one's just not heavy enough. But two of them? I mean, this thing's the size of me. Come on. This isn't going to work, Lethal, you're saying. Well, we're going to try it anyway, damn it. Sad. Okay. Well, you go here. Sit with your friends. I'll be back shortly, I'm sure. Oof. <laughs> Here we go. This looks more like it. It's like killed that guy with a fucking parsnip or something. Fantastic. I wasn't sure if that was actually going to be on the platform. And 
was carrying his buddy for extended periods. No big deal. The coin just kind of reminds me of Castlevania. Like Symphony of the Night and what whatnot. Hmm, it's steel, huh? Oh, sorry. Actually, how did I do that? Oh, I guess if I spin while I'm carrying him, that's what happens. It's confusing how I can destroy, you know, apparent steel blocks, but I can't... I don't know. Destroy enemies? Oh, I get coins when I go through those, I've just noticed. Where am I getting coins? Anyone... It could be anyone's guess. Hmm. That definitely looks like some impassable barrier. Or faxes. Oh. This looks like a place where doings transpire. Say, what, we, what did you find in here? Whoa! Oh. Better and get it. What? Round two, fuck you. You can't just sprout wings. Fuck you. These Pokemon think they're so big? Not anymore. There's a new winged thing in town, and it's me. So I'm not sure if I can use this for anything. I'll be right back. Go ahead and just set that there. Treasure. That's not what I told you to do. Well, so much for our treasure. Oh, there's that foreboding sort of rumbling again. Oh, wow. What is that? It looks like an ancient owl relic. But why is it here? Huh, we ought to bring a fragment back to the professor. Ha <laughs> Gotcha! Yeah! Otis? That freaky spider thing got us! We need to get out of these webs! Excellent, Otis! Would you let me down from here too? Yes! Amazing! You saved our lives, Otis! That's my best buddy for you! Aha! Okay, I'm just gonna collect a tiny chip of this here relic. Now you've done it. Oh, that seems... this seems like a bad idea, actually. Let, let me keep doing it. Everything was consumed in nuclear fire that day. <laughs> I mean, you have wings. Why wouldn't it get wings? It's only fair. That makes sense, XSI. What is this? It's some kind of device with a button on it. Strange. If it was made by the owls, then it should be hundreds of years old. 
but it looks completely intact. I wonder what might happen if we press the button. I think you should have it. Oh! Kind of reminds me of some of the Zelda games, the way that stuff's just sort of appearing on my menu thing. Strange device. A strange device with a button. Seems to have been made by the ancient owls. Neat. Go ahead, Otis. Press the button. I'll just... Stay over here, yep. Mm -hmm. Ah! Wow! Did I just get teleported? This is incredible technology! The owls made stuff like this? Do it again! Do it again! Wee! Ha! Just wait till we can show this to the professor! Although... We should get out of here while the cave is still holding. Okay. Are you saying that it's not going to be holding forever? There's also just moats? Oh. Oh. Wait, where'd he go? I can also just make him fade out of existence, it would seem. Oh man, I could get used to this whole teleporting business, Otis. I'll never have to walk again. Now, let's return to... Oh no, another tremor. But... It seemed to be coming from the outside? Quickly, Otis! Let's check what's going on! I'll just go ahead and drop you forever. Because why wouldn't I? I know, look at that load-bearing artifact. Everything's dark all of a sudden. Oh! Why is it dark all of a sudden? <laughs> why did Lethal say exactly that? It's like he knew it was coming. How long are we... How long were we chasing that jerk? It should still be morning. Ah! What's going on? Da -na 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 -na. Live from the Pirate Dome. It's Saturday Night Live. Oh no, Sky Pirates! I haven't had time to fix the cannon yet! We're completely defenseless! Please take me with you. If we stick together, we'll be safer! We have to get to the lab to warn Azio and the Professor! They'll know what to do! I think this is somewhat of a stealth mission. I don't want to get spotted by those, also I cannot go through them, because why would I be able to? Oh no! I've been spooted. They're on top of my house. Nope. No one here but, uh, you know, all us owls. Whoop, don't look at me. Stop it. Oof. Demonstrate purposes, I assure you. They're just firing giant rocks at us. We'll be fine, probably. Whoop! Whoop, 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 whoop. Oh, it's not down there. A little higher. Err. Well, there's our cannon. Can you perhaps pick this over here? No? 
Oh well. Oof. Good tracking that time. You killed my friend. Getting hit with a giant rock's actually not that bad for your health, it would seem. Otis, where have you been? Get inside right now! Okay. Listen, you're gonna have to stay out here. For reasons. Oh yeah, the ship's room. <laughs> Otis, you were supposed to keep watch. Where were you? Getty, you should know better than to... Azio, this is no time for this bickering. Getty, get this machine working so we can get a visual on the pirates. The uh, I'll try my best, Professor. Try it now. That's got it going. Strange! There is some kind of tremor. I wonder if the village is fighting back. It does not matter. We already have what we came for. As I... Am I to understand that we have the relic in our position? Yep. It was right where the little owl led us. No problems. Excellent. Then it is time to leave. Not yet, it's not. It's time for pillaging. Do not be ridiculous. We are done here. Captain Molstrom's order was to move out and attack Advent. Advent? We're finally going to may attack the capital? That is right. It seems the captain is confident in our forces, both that our forces are strong enough. And if we get the relic hidden in Advent as well, we will be stronger still. Of course. The journey will be dangerous. We'll have to fly near the Owl Temple. Quit your whining. Let's go. All right. Let us be off. It works. <laughs> Those are the pirate ships on screen. <laughs> Audible darts as I scratch my chin. It looks like the pirates are leaving. They are. Huh, no doubt about it. Why would they leave? Or why would they leave, rather? Let's try a little more eloquence this time, Lethal, you piece of shit. Oh no, this is bad. As you call the town, call a town meeting at once. There's no time to lose. All right. Otis, Giddy, follow me. This timing. Have the pirates noticed it too? That the islands are actually cheeseburgers. No, surely they have not. I know that percussive maintenance fixed that machine right up. Everyone quiet down. I like how the guy who is in the hot spring is still just, like, hot spring dressed. Is everyone alright? Uh, everyone's okay. Strix students wouldn't attract the pirates. I don't think the pirates were here for us. Then, why did the pirates <laughs> even come here? Listen, all of you. We have no time for any of, any of this. My readings show that the pirates are heading towards the capital. What's go they're gonna attack Advent? Yes, we need to warn the city and quickly. The pirate ships are slow, but they have a head start on us. In that case, there's no choice, Professor. We have to use the Owl Temple as a defense mechanism. 
Ah, yes, of course. The Owl Temple has been blowing islands in the area apart for decades. If we deactivate the wind generators, the pirates would close... The islands will close in on the pirates and crush them. Or so I think. So perhaps the ancient owls can help protect even Advent. Otis! You will go to the Owl Temple. The professor and I need to go directly to Advent to warn them. And no one else here can fly. Except for those bratty kids that have cloaks for some reason. Well, I guess those are strict students. It doesn't matter. But does Otis know the way to around the temple? That's right. I should join him, Azio. I'm not so sure about this dance. All right, whatever. Be warned, Otis. If you disappoint me again, you will be in... There will be serious consequences. You put our village in danger by leaving your post today. Do not do it again. Otis, Getty, Professor, it's ready to leave. to the Owl Temple as quickly as you can. Don't disappoint me, Otis. Guards, open the gates. Oh. There we go. That's what I was expecting. Finally, the gate is open. Let's get out of here, Otis. Okay. Now we're kind of getting into virgin territory for me in this game. I haven't played that much of it. Hey, guys. That's right. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that's all you gotta say. <laughs> Thrilling. Leave and Tony. Try not to cause any trouble. You've caused enough of that here, wouldn't you agree? <laughs> Man, everyone's kind of a dick. They're just orbiting around the islands. Oh, this must be the pirate ship. You can tell because of the skull motifs, right? Well, he's got one of the MacGuffins. Possibly of a total of three. Oh, we've left him behind. Come here. Getting some Chrono Trigger vibes with this background ambiance. Okay, just teleport over there for a reason, sure. Okay, Otis, we're in Tropos. Or Tropos, however it's pronounced, we're here. Now, if I remember correctly, the music is going to swell here. And I think the Owl Temple should be around here somewhere. Let's investigate her a bit. I hope it will find the entrance. Okay. You get out of here, you. Welcome to Tropos. Ah, Buccaneery Shop, straight up. Cool. Buccaneery. What do you mean you can throw down? Well, let's go see what's in the shop, eh? got a coin overview so in the cave i got most of the coins but there's probably some more behind that uh that wall we saw at the very end tropos apparently has 600 that's neat i don't know how it knows also hey there's effie you've never heard of this one well i'm glad i could bring it to your attention welcome first time ever my name is buccaneer this here is my legendary adventure emporium and boy have i got a challenge for you I have hidden all my buccaneer coins. If you find any of my coins out there, well, bring them with you. The more you find, the more I'll let you select from my trinket collection. I've been collecting trinkets for a long time. <laughs> Approach the counter, and when you're ready. Okay. 
Oh, and for every coupon ring that you find, I'll give you three of my Buccaneery coins. They'll get you started with a boom. Now, let's check out how much booty that you've brought. You've collected 412 Buccaneery coins. That's not too shabby. In fact, I'll let you have your very first trinket. Oh. Hello. Well? Huh? Where's the trinket? Which? Oh, God, forget the trinket. One moment. Ta da! Please take it, sir. <laughs> well, what are you waiting for? What are you ye waiting for? Have a sip. Neat. Ah, yes, it's got a kick to it, doesn't it? It'll put some feathers on your chest. Now, Boguin, back to your shack. Yes, ma'am. Oh, apparently that's a woman. Well, she's going to have the same voice because I don't feel like changing. Collect 500 Buccaneery coins for another surprise. All right. We have a... It's filled with soup that puts feathers on your chest, apparently. Increases your maximum health. Let's see. A dorky hat. It's useless. It looks like the one that uh, Getty's wearing. A nice canteen. Increases your maximum health. A mystery... <laughs> A great canteen, more health. Attachable blaster unit for maximum range. Attachable musket unit for maximum fire. And a specter clo it cloak. It sparkles in the night. Also, she said it was a secret. I mean, it's right there. I know, eight short. Very unfortunate. I'm just trying to leave. There we go. There's so many buttons. And I've never pressed any buttons before. Let's see, do we have a map or something around here? This is the first time I've gone to the menu. So we can see all the coins, we can see all the options. There's checkpoints. There's those big scary coins. I don't know what those mean. It's over here. Bluff. Okay, apparently I can't hurt him. Well, it's just walking around a circle anyway. It's not really that big a deal. What do we have here? You sit there. Hmm. Something we can't futz with yet. Is that a secret over here? Nope. Alright. Come on, Giddy. Let's Giddy out of here. Alright. Like I said, I'd never seen this portion of the game, so... Born to... <laughs> Bound to be a little more tedium here. As far as me trying to figure out what to do. Anything over here? Oh, there's a tree. Music, you are swelling like a mofo, aren't you? What's all this? A gate of infinite mystery? What could it mean? I've seen all the things that look like they could be, you know, owl temples. That certainly could be it. We'll keep that in mind as we look around. There's something in the ground here. Oh my goodness! Treasure! Those almost look like they should be extractable. What do we have here? Floating continent and then belly. Okay. Some manner of campfire. Say, Otis, maybe we should get a little rest before we move on. Apparently I just whistle at him. Well, this is nice. 
Oh man, Otis! We can we finally got the lead belly! And we'll get to see Advent soon too! Though, this isn't how I imagined we get there. If you want to, you can I'll tell you a little bit about it. Okay. Sure, why not? Oh man, I really can't wait till we you get to see Advent Otis. The shops, the sites, the people! There's so much to do in Advent. And I think Azio is overreacting, I mean... All the pirates in the world couldn't get past Advent's defenses, even if they wanted to. Ha ha ha! This whole situation's overblown, if you ask me. At least I'm happy that we get to leave the village for a while. You know, it kind of feels like we're on an adventure. Anything else that you want to tell me about? Or want me to tell you about? Uh, Advent? Pirates? Owl Temple? Go to sleep? Uh, tell me about pirates. I don't know much about them, to be honest. Mostly what I've heard is, well, rumors. We've had a few skirmishes with them when I was in the army in Advent. Oh, neat. Our friend was in the army. That's how he, he's a combat engineer, apparently. I never saw numbers like we just saw in Melly, though. There's like ten of them. But the pirates I saw always retreated as soon as we fired our warning shots. I'm sure we'll be fine. Anyway, anything else you want me to tell you about? Uh, Owl Temple? I guess you've never been there before, huh? It's one of the oldest owl ruins that we know about. It's still, it's a surreal place. And it's huge. It must have been, there must have been owls everywhere back in those days. We'll have to get deep inside the temple to get to the control room. It'll be tough, but I know we can do it. Anything else you want to tell me about? Or want me to tell you about? Uh, go to sleep? Good idea. I'm bushed. Let's continue our journey tomorrow, shall we? We should get some rest. Fantastic. Sounds like my life refilling. Alright. Oh. Hmm. This might be, in fact, the Owl Temple. Let's take a look. Simple, <laughs> definitely has a Owl Temple look to it. An ancient nature that we can plainly discern. Or maybe it doesn't. Where the fuck are we now? More of this thing. I wonder if I could kill that thing with a... With a one of these. Well, you ate it instead of throwing it. Nope, it doesn't give a flip. More coinage. We can get whatever that next thing is. The silly hat. We'll just fly around without Kitty for a while. What are you doing here? You better run, you little shit. Listen, you're not Sonic. You can't roll like that. It's illegal. I'm gonna get you. Ah! Please don't hurt me! The. Um, why would we hurt you? Yeah. You're not gonna hurt me? Wow, that's nice of you. I'm one of Buccaneary's punching bag. Um, one of Buccaneary's helpers. That's right. She never hurts us. <laughs> uh, she sent me out here looking for my brothers. Okay. Well, what do they look like? They look just like me. <laughs> 
If you find him, please tell him, please tell him to return to Buccaneer's shop. Unless they want punishment, um, or else Buccaneer will worry herself sick. Yup. To help you on your way, I'll teach you a neat trick. Behold! Pretty stylish, huh? Why don't you give it a try? Wow! You're a natural! I bet you owls can roll even while flying. But, <laughs> that's the interesting pose that you've taken. Do you know that you can move way faster in a full, on a full stomach? Always stuff your face with food. That's what I always say. Well, if you happen to see my brothers, tell them Buccaneer is looking for them. Please hurry. <laughs> I mean, please take your time. I'll be alive when they return, surely. Yep. Well, it was nice meeting somebody. See you by the shop. Well, Otis, that was all kinds of weird. I guess we should help him look for his lost brothers, though. Poor guy. Sweet. Now we're Air Sonic. Why there's air dust, I'm not sure. What do we have here? Excellent. Let's see. This way to the Owl Temple. Alright, we gotta do some science here. Okay, I think I can roll through them? Yes. Maybe. Okay, so I can't roll through them. I'm not exactly sure what that ability is good for yet. Hmm. Why are there so many of these things just rotating about? I thought that might be a dodge move. My mistake. You know, with everything having dodge moves nowadays, I didn't want you. Oh, on to eat. Get out of here. Alright, more rings. I mean, this is clearly a song. We can roll, there's rings. I mean, <laughs> there's annoying friends. Huh. You certainly look official. The Owl Temple. The first of the great temples. Here, the owls learn to control the elements and challenge the natural order. By the end of the first eon, they had mastered water, fire, and wind. And their work had here revealed to them the existence of higher mysteries. My god, when I named the, you know, this stream the surprise game of infinite mystery, I didn't actually expect this. I've never seen this portion. <laughs> so says the Book of Nocte. What the... Uh, what in the world? Who was that? I guess we won't be alone in here. Uh, let's be careful, Otis. Yep. Guess I'll fly into this eye of the storm. Can you roll through them when they're open? I'm not sure. I'm not sure I want to try anymore. I'm sure the game will make that apparent. I probably can't. It's probably just a move for going fast. Which also makes this game Sonic. Owl Temple. My goodness. Okay. Ah, there's a door over here with purple neon vines. No coinage. It's even the point of living. Almost crushed my ass. Oh, you got me. You got me, you bastard. Uh, maybe I'm not doing any damage to him. There you go. It does a great job of actually teaching you, hey, you can't destroy still enemies. It's going to take me a while to get used to the controls, though, because sometimes you need to switch instantly between, you know, doing some of that and then doing some of the other stuff. What? Oh, my goodness. 
I'm spooked. Let's get out of here. Need that better blaster, I think. Oh good, I can actually just start firing. I don't need to teleport him in. That's good. Good design. The hell are you? Pick you up. Oh my word. <laughs> okay, so that blew up this. Hmm. hmm. Was there just rings behind there? Okay, I thought that may have been, like, another secret wall we could have gotten. My mistake. Oh. <laughs> I got knocked into the wall and it did additional damage. That's pretty cool. Okay, that's definitely a thing. Hey, it blew up the guy. Fantastic. It blew up the guy with the things. See, there could be more additional things over here. Now it's just that way in, I think. Let's see. Oh, now it's this place. Alright, I think we've been through everything. Let's take a look over here. Destroy some priceless relics, why not? That's what you get, really. There's nothing in these. Bob, I like that could be coinage. What if I could bat back their stones onto them? Also, what the hell is that? Hmm. Apparently, I need a new ability to get in there. Hmm. Okay, it looks like a stone extrusion hole. But there's no stones. Let me just waylace to all your children. And you. Alright, well there's a thing. There's a cloud. And then there's you. Maybe I need to put the cloud over there? That's all I can figure. Oh, I see. It rains. Hmm. Nifty. Oh, my word. It's ever so dark in here. Lethal tilt's head. Some kind of fucking spider beast. Well. I'm just gonna get away from... Ow! Alright. Clearly fighting those things is not the right idea. Or at least the way I am fighting them is not the right idea. Okay, we'll just avoid those. They're not worth fighting. They're like fucking moles. Assault moles. What is that little thing? Hello. Oh, hello, sir. Afternoon, sir. He lifts his little hat. 
see. It's all clear to me now. A fish with a long hat. Was it a fish? I gotta take another look. I guess it is. I see the little tail and everything. Hm. What's a gentle fish? That's what you get. Not sure why I need this, but I might need it. Wow, you things are moving rather quick. Nah, I had a feeling that was going to happen. It's all right. We are budgeted for it. <laughs> Yeah, that's what I thought. Why don't you take care of that? He's spooked. Right spooked. Looks like you can grab the cloud? I can grab it. Let me check. You stay there. Can I grab the cloud? Oh, shit. Well, that would have made things easier, huh? I can even spin with it. can't take it through there because clouds are too fat. Oh, I, I destroyed it. Oops. Again, Lethal tilts his head. Why is there a cloud there? It looks like it's obscuring something. Chris Boosh. So I can't carry you in here? It looks like that is in fact the case. There's too much water. Maybe I can't fly also. Yeah, I can't fly either. Makes sense. Hmm. Oh, it's a cloud extrusion hole, I see. No, it makes sense. Hmm. Okay, I'll keep that in mind. Coming clear. Whoops. Get me, you. Do I need to, like, throw it into the hole? There I got it. <laughs> it's a good. That's a good sound it makes. Big fan. You sit there. Lethal's played a puzzle game or two. No big problem. jumping. Alright, you're going to have to stay here, I'm afraid. Hop up. Hop up. Huh, I can actually still jump very high. What's down here? Hmm. I think I see a bomb of wall down there. Maybe. I suppose I should eat. No, eat it. Don't drop it. Arp. Hmm, can't get through that purple stuff. Oh, look at the little hellbees. Oof. Wow, they literally are hellbees. Oh, gotta stop, drop, and spin. <laughs> uh-huh. 
Oh my word. It's almost kind of sad. Oh. Nice animations on these as they fucking die. Okay, well that's cool. Ah, that's what I needed this for. Of course, it just fucking vaporized. I was gonna sit down and set Getty on top of it, but it's all no, no fun allowed. Okay, Bob. I'm doing all right today, Pudero. The game might ultimately decide I'm playing, and I'm not, not regretting my time with it. I suppose I shall take you along for the ride. Just watch this breaks the game. Oh no, how will I get that cloud? Turns out I don't need it. Oh. Fuck you, you shitty Pokemon. Yeah, you can use a bomb and go get that other cloud. Or you could just bring this cloud with you. Uh -huh. Oh, I broke it. Oh. They're offering up the books. Hmm. Sure, it's nothing to be concerned about. go see if we can't get that, you know, salacious coin of awesomeness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Lethal's in a pickle. Oh, there's another one there. Uh oh. Hmm. Well, I don't think we get to that from this side the very least. They'll probably give us some life points over here, he said, not knowing if that were the case. Have you ever given a friend a shower? <laughs> what? Oh, give him... Oh, a fiend? Or your... <laughs> oh, maybe you are talking about Getty. I don't know. Infinite pots? Okay. Hmm. Get out of the water. Let's just go. For the good of the city. Oh, can I fill these up? I can. Let's see, I saw you down there. Where'd you go? Hmm. Maybe he died in another way? <laughs> like that one was hustling towards me is all shit. All crap. Hmm. I think that opened up progress. I was gonna say, can I kill myself for this? No. Disappointing. This looks like a nice place. More impassable vines. Uh oh. Oh man, gnomes! Don't move a muscle! We must have stumbled into their lair. These things are seriously lethal, man. Listen, we gotta get out of here. Gnomes may have poor eyesight, but they've got crazy hearing. They can hear you flapping your wings from a mile away, so don't try to fly. Stay out of their sight and try to climb your way out of here. If you get spotted, run for your fucking life. Don't worry about me. I'll just teleport away when you get out, okay? Oh my word. He ate me. 
Neat. <laughs> oh. I didn't actually mean to fly there. It's just you fly whenever you hit the button again. Hmm. Probably not going to be able to go that way. Look at that face. You get spooked. See, stuff like this is why I prefer, you know, KDE over GNOME. Linux humor. <laughs> Guess I'm gonna have to progress to the left. Hmm. I guess I could just fly out of here at this point. Let's do it. Yep. Oh my word. Oh my goodness. Shouldn't have messed with us, kids. Gave us all those parsnips down there. We didn't need them. Oh yeah, it's got more of that stuff. Anything over here? Nope. Hop up. Hop up. Oh. Demonstrative blocks? Does it not come back? I don't think it comes back. Well. Hmm. I see. It's cloud them all. What is that emerging? Ah, I see. So perhaps if I squish this. Oh, I was going to say maybe if I fill this with water, things will uh, be good for everybody, but no. Hmm. <laughs> that would be funny if that actually worked. <laughs> Nope. That was all that falls on that pot lid and then everything's fine. You destroyed that. Maybe if I set you down on top of this. Ah, I see what the actual idea is. I can do that too, but the, you're supposed to have it land on the cloud. There you go. Come here, you. Now I can use the cloud for that. Come here. Oh, God damn it. God damn it. I got an idea. Come here, you. If I were to do something like this, is there any is there any advantage to bringing this with me? <laughs> Lethal tilts his head. Oh, okay, I'll try not to be clever in the future game. <laughs> that was my mistake. Hey. I see. Actually, uh, I think it was like this. I see. How does it look in there? I think this is our same too. Yep, does look like it. What do you think it looks like? 
The final impact snapped all his left over in half. Not exactly sure what's wrong with, or what's up with this guy's face. It looks like he's wearing a mask and he has a lot of facial hair. She's bleeding gears out of her side for crying out loud. What nonsense possessed the captain to have us fly through the, this damn death trap? Can it. We've got more important things to worry about, like how to get out of here. Where's that gawk pest gone off to? Looks like she's carrying us out of here. A gawk, huh? She won't be able to carry both of us. So what the heck do you want us to do? Flip a coin and... Hey! <laughs> Gaze off. Hi! A little... A little owl. A kid's wearing an authentic owl cloak. We can use that thing to bust this joint. Bust out of this joint, rather. Hmm, very well. Looks like that is our last option. Sincere apologies, young sir. We will have to take that cloak off your hands now. Grrr. What? Oh no. Somehow it can control rocks within that thing. But can't you... Wait, 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 wait. So, is that thing the gawk? The thing that's carrying him right now? Or is that just some random monster that's flown in? Oh, what? Ooh, quit the fight in this one. Have you prepared the dirt? She's ready to go. Bring down that flying gold nugget. My god, the turret is down again. Get <laughs> get out there. Oh my goodness, he's firing more shots now. Look at me actually having to use my dodge moves. Such moves. Good work, Jackass. You've done it again. Shots are actually landing because he's too far away. <laughs> Curse Bloosh. I guess those things are called Gox. Nickelodeon Gax. Ah, the, to <laughs> the turret is totally busted. Well, I'd say we've been bested. At times like this, it is customary to admit defeat. No bloody chance. Maybe I should have made you Australian or something. No bloody chance. That's not the pirate, eye. Right? I would question whether we are even follow the pirate way anymore. Captain Molstrom got us stuck here. And has yet to return for us. Are we proud to be part of his crew, or just, or, or, let's try that again. Are we proudly part of his crew, or just pawns in his ruthless plot? What? You dare stab the captain with your pris prissy accusations? A real crew of pirates would never abandon each other. I would find deeper pride sailing the winds alone. Than with an unprincipled band of thumbs. Why you? You'll pay for your treacherous words. I'll steer you right where you stand. Go. Huh? Oh my word. Did I just crash the party? Hehe. <laughs> you. I thought we got rid of... I mean... Help me out of here! You got it, pal! Hey! Just wait a minute! You're the troublemaker from Belly! And you're in league with the pirates? 
You distracted us during the attack on purpose, didn't you? Pirates? Attack? What are you babbling about? Dex, my friend. I do what he tells me. You're just jealous that you've all you've got is this feather face. <laughs> Twig, you, you squabby. Enough squabble, rather. Let's get out of here. Rightio. Jump on and let's go. Neat. Um. Well, I hope my musket didn't leave too many scratches on you. Actually, you only hit us with your person, friend. I know. First try. You must, you have res remarkable resilience and put up an honorable fight. Please accept my apologies. We were desperate to, to, <laughs> we were desperate to get through these ruins, you understand. Nothing personal. But that does not matter now. Nope, we can part without any ill will. Good luck finding your way out of this place. Holy shit. <laughs> he just chungus his way right through the floor. Alright, so we can't go up. That, even though they pass through it, that's not really real. Let's go down here then. I mean, he cut through the earth like a goddamn knife. Look at this. These walls are sheer. And... I'm not even going to ask how he made this, because he clearly made it. Huh. I was expecting that to hurt me. Hmm. Hello? Well, it seemed to be stuck here. Not the elegant sortie I was hoping for. Perhaps I should find a way forth. Or perhaps you can find a way forth, little one. Perhaps. Perhaps I can. Destroy some of these gax. What do you mean you can pass through that? There you go. Ooh. Great work up there. My thanks. I like this guy. He created a puzzle door himself to get through. <laughs> I know, this elaborate scheme of his. Another predicament. It seems a bit too much for us, either of us, to handle. Perhaps it would be best for us to work together, for mayhaps. The pirates will not want me back, and I am free to do as I please. I, Alphonse, Alphonse Elric, would be honored to join your crew if you would accept me. Well, you do seem more friendly than the other pirates. And I have a feeling that other, that other guy would have attacked us earlier if it weren't for you. Well, what do you think, Otis? <laughs> I'm, I'm cool with it, obviously. All right, I guess that we will we'll take your chance, our chances with you, Alphonse. Just don't be too surprised if you get teleported around. Oh, yeah. He's gonna get the flipping treatment. Alphonse, a gallant and friendly former pirate. Loves theater and poetry. His shotgun shoots fire that burns trees and damages enemies. It needs to cool down after use. Neat. Alright. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> I didn't seem to fire there. Good shot there. Okay, so it makes sort of a sound when it's ready. See, it has an indicator up there. Now it all makes sense. Hmm. Unfortunate. Okay, 
Okay, so I can switch between my buddies by hitting the bumpers. No, I want to consume. Consume! Pretty handy the way I can actually get this. He gives you a lighter, I see, so I can just walk up the things. Hmm. Ah, oh, he needs to be bigger. I had a feeling that this guy would be joining our team. He just has a very iconic look. Hmm. Right. Oh yeah, I can just hold down the button and go right through it. Oh nice. I think the owls would probably like this stuff burned away. I don't know. Seems like the right thing to do. Why aren't you burning? Okay. That one is a turtle. Cannot be burned. Same with that root there. I can't burn you? Ah, whatever. Can I burn you things? Okay, that does kill him. Very good. like overloads them and they explode. Bluff. Bluff. Oh my goodness. Burn it all away. I don't know what this purple stuff is, but I don't want it in my house. I can even burn underwater with this thing. Batman has a strong attack. He's not fat. It's just the suit. Oh, hey guys. Is there anything else down here I need? Do we have a map? Uh, it would seem not. Well, there's plenty of stuff to burn down here. Okay, that's the way out. Nerd. I know there were some other places we could go that needed that's the other way we went maybe I will just go out that first way I believe this is where we came in here we go Go ahead and 86 that one. Hmm. Like how how happy they are to see us. Alright, how do we get to this coinage? I know I want it. I just don't know how to get it. So hot. Ah, oh, come on. He's guarding the door. This is fucking bullshit. No, he's still over there. Hmm. I think I get that one later. Probably not wrong. Y'all got any of them fruits? Where the hell am I even going here? 
Okay, I can. I just need to get him to stop guarding the entrance. Oh, they are burning stuff also. What is all that? Yeah, that's where I came from before, I think. Yep. So I didn't have to go through hell as I just did. bit of coinage in your time of need. Ah, uh, you're talking about the map. Ah. You get that there. Hey, fruits. No, you gotta eat them. Eat the knobby fruits. They look like pokey berries. You guys don't give a fuck, huh? You better run. Oh, okay. I'll just take all the stupid damage. like some sort of impending danger, so let's go ahead and heal up. Mm. <clears throat> Alright, just a couple of you guys, huh? A couple more of you guys. Oh, you got me. Alright, Drama Queen, just die already. He's all so dead right now. Oh my god! <laughs> hey guys, look! <laughs> look at that run animation. <clears throat> One second. A bit of coffee right there. I think that's the entrance to the control room. Control room? Yeah. Our plan was to stop you. Uh, I mean, our plan was to stop the wind machinery so the temple could block the fleet's path. It's the only way we can stop the pirates from reaching Advent. Are you with us on this, Alphonse? Hmm. Leaving the pirates is one thing. Getting on their bad side is another. The pirates are threatening to attack Advent. If you won't help us, why even bother to abandon the pirates? You left because of your pride. Are you proud of doing nothing? I was so sure that you claimed to be noble, Alphonse. Bye. Duh. Former pirate dots. I have decided. Also, Lethal had a marker there for aiming there for a moment because he hit the right stick. It doesn't happen again. That's weird. I will aid you in Lethal's cursor. It is true that the pirates have gone too far lately. As you say, I cannot simply stand by and watch. If Captain Molstrom truly aims to attack Advent, I will stop Stop it in any way that we can, or we will. I, Alphonse, would be proud to join your ranks yet again. I knew we could count on you, Alphonse. Right, Otis? Uh-huh. Now, let's go. We gotta get to the control room. Hmm. What's over here? 
Nothing. Oh, okay. This looks very arena-esque, though. Foreboding rumbling again. Hmm. I tilt my head at this thing, which is in the middle of its own room. What could it mean? Oh, hey, guys. Oh, uh, Otis? What was that? Oh my goodness! Fucking run! Uh oh. Oh my goodness! Oh. Uh-oh. No. Ow. Okay, he didn't instantly kill me, so that's nice. Now all of a sudden it's very wet, wild, and out of control. Oh my! Guys, stand back! Monka S indeed, Alan. <laughs> or should I say, Froggy? <laughs> Mr. Otis, Mr. Giddies. Alphonse, are, are we dead? I think that you can open your eyes. Oh! What happened to it? I was just froze in place. I don't think water did it any good. Which is weird, because it's kind of a frog. Is this another relic left by the owls? Hmm, I wonder. Mr. Giddy! Oop, lethal hit the mic. <laughs> Damn it, lethal. What are you doing? Oh, yeah, that's a bad idea. Let's move, guys, before it does. That thing certainly became much, uh, much more intimidating once it transformed from a statue into that. Very nice sequence there. Hey, over here. Or over there, rather. It's the control room, but... All this machinery, it looks like it's been broken for decades. It's got vines growing out of it. But then, shouldn't the temple be closed off? The professor said that this machine was blowing the islands apart. Could he have been wrong? Well, we have to hurry up, guys. We can't use this machine to slow the pirates down. They'll have a clear path to Advent. We may already be too late. Let's go. Okay. Hmm. All right, so can I do anything with these? Nope. Hmm. Well, I can go up this way. It's all this then. Hmm. And we just keep going up and up and up. Where does it end? Is that Advent back there? Oh. No time to waste. Let's go.
What's going on here? Where is everyone? This is come to this. Alphonse? Listen, you two. You need to hi I need to hide for now. You cannot I you cannot be seen with me here. When the time comes, summon me with your teleporter, Otis. I must be off. What's he thinking? Also, how did he teleport on his own? Oh well, let's go, Otis. Gotta check if Azio and the Professor made it in time. With this foreboding lightning storm, do you think they did? There's just like... Okay, so... Nah, they're having a battery right now. <laughs> the piss droplets are falling everywhere. Otis! Don't just stand there, get inside! Can you see the droplets out here? Hurry, you fool! Oh, we got a cavalcade of new characters I'm gonna have to voice. Move it! Hey! Lay off, Otis! Be quiet, Getty! We're... <laughs> You're both to blame for this! What? What for? You idiots! You were supposed to shut down the Owl Temple! Do you think we sent you out there for fun? Oh! How I wish I could have sent someone competent instead. Hey now! There's... There was nothing to shut down. The control room was broken. The Owl Temple has been shut down for years. The wind machinery was never active? Hmm. Don't be ridiculous. You're all familiar. We're all familiar with you and Otis's slackery. Your actions are inexcusable, Otis. You bring shame to the owls everywhere. And most of all, you bring shame upon me. Hmm. Oh, that's quite enough, Azio. Rather than ha rather than blow up on this child, we should get to work defending Advent. Strix, will you stop this silliness? Now oh, this must be Strix over here. He looks Oh, he's got a little whip, or a little crop there, it looks like. Let's see, how shall I voice you? I don't really have anything specific for you, which is unfortunate. Absolutely, Kinstrel. Uh, Colonel. As you. We don't have time for this. As a fow fellow, rather, owl, you should know better. The entirety of Captain Maelstrom's fleet is raining down fire upon Advent. My students and I plan to carry supplies and turret gunners and do repairs. It will be dangerous, but it's the least we can do. Is there no way to strike back at the pirates? I'm afraid not. Our only recourse is our turrets. The pirate dreadnoughts are too heavily fortified to assault with our own ships. We only hope that the turret fire can war them off. We'll war them off, rather. Bonacci, Fib, go help the turret gunners. You and your students should do the same, Azio, if you can. Solis, keep guard here. Uh, shouldn't we evacuate? No, we have to hold Advent. Stay here. Yes. Well, I am off to help, too. Excuse me. Otis, you have caused enough harm. You will stay here with the coward. I will lock the door behind me as I, <laughs> as I go to help the others. You're not fit to help protect the others of the city. Colonel Solus. Please see it that these two do not do anything stupid while I'm away. <laughs> you stuck that old... <laughs> you said, wait, that stuck that old fool? What did you say? <laughs> don't look so... Da don't look so down, laddie. If you made a mistake, you'll make 
it right in time. Take Asio and the Professor, for instance. They've had plenty of mistakes. Only reason that they're able to act so high and mighty now is that they've worked hard to set those mistakes right. Listen, lady. We didn't do anything wrong. We defeat a giant mechanical frog guardian in the, to get to that control room. But when we got there, it was already broken, covered with purple vines and stuff. Like we said, the machinery wasn't on in the first place. Really? Yes. That's very interesting. It's been thought that the Owl Temple was responsible for the islands drifting apart from each other. If the temple wasn't causing it, I wonder what was. I'll have to look into this matter. Where are my manners? My name is Kurnell, and I research biology and teach children at this school. And I can make rockets, and I make rockets and bombs for fun. Uh, pleased to meet you, Colonel. Or Colonel. I'm Getty, and this is Otis. We're best buddies. I tend to speak for him, because he's just mute. All he can go is, oh, and hmm. Well, I'm pleased to meet you both. Neat. Hey there. Uh, hey. I'm sure you don't want to talk to me. I, I'm sure you don't want to talk right now, but I want you to know that I believe in you. Or I believe you, rather. You don't seem to be the type to lie, Otis, even because you can't talk. I guess we're both dumped in here. I hope this blows over. There's a room with books and stuff in it. NSA wants to know his location. Nothing in here. Can't leave through that side. Almost looks like a door there. Alright. I sure hope they don't hit the fuel storage. That would be quite a kaboom. The pirate attack to be, seems to be quite huge. I mean... How could it turn out to be like this? I don't know. I wonder how Strix, Bonacci, and Fib are doing. At least the two of us are safe here. The two of us? Aren't there four of us? Oh, don't look so down. We just need to remain calm and keep our hopes up. We'll get through this. Is there no way to escape this? There must be. Or I just keep talking to you and eventually something happens. I'll shoot my way out. Uh, Master Otis! It, how perfect that you have summoned me. Quickly, I, we cannot waste time. I must speak with you. All of you, in fact. Actually, all of you, in fact. Let's get the right voice on light. Oh, yeah. We must stop the attack on the city at once. How are we supposed to do that? We've been locked in here. And there's no way we can... Nothing we can do against the pirate fleet. You must know that. Nothing we can do. Mr. Giddy. I do not share your pessimistic outlook. I know precisely how to stop them. Hey, you're a pirate, aren't you? Do you perhaps have some information that could help us? Oh, of course I do. We need to stop the Dreadnought. Stopping the Dreadnought could stop the entire fleet. It's a massive ship, but it's got one weakness. We could sneak in through the bomb chutes and set up an explosive charge. Kaboom! Kablamo in the event would be safe. That sounds dangerous. Otis Giddy and myself are noble men. We do not care for trifles such as danger. Madam, Colonel, was it? Might I ask you for the keys to hell of this building? I don't know. 
Do I have any reason to trust you? I... I trust them. Otis and Getty are great guys. They would lie. Give these two brave souls a chance to show their worth. Here's the key. If anyone asks, you didn't. We didn't see you go. Good luck out there. Let's go, little one. Next time on Owl Boy Z, we're gonna save Advent. Will Will Alphonse's plan work out? Find out next time.